two blue friends. So currently we have a 12 year old kid waiting on Christmas with us right here. I'm 13. <laughs> <laughs> Don't let this guy kid you, man. He's just as excited. Well, we had videos to make. That's, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so what we've been waiting on. Okay, so if you watched the other video, the battery went dead and we had to jump it off, which worked. That worked a time or two. But end, end of the day, the battery's got a dead cell or something. We're going to go get it checked out when, when it's convenient. But we ordered a new battery. We got the new battery. However, we also got... Tell them what we got. We got a uh, Mustang heated seat, and we got ourselves a cable that we got to install on the bike to get the heated seat to work. This, this is the same seat that he had, like, you know, or not, well, five or six months ago. Wasn't After, heated. He sent it back. He didn't like it. I guess the heat's going to change everything. I don't know. Absolutely. So <laughs> the, the problem here, here's the problem. The problem truly is that Russell Daylong is a process to get. You have to send them your seat, wait a month, get it back, maybe. That's on a good day. Right now, their waiting period is what? February? Three months, yeah. I mean, it's, it's silly. I can't imagine the kind of business they could turn around if they were producing their own seat pans. But no, you have to send yours in. I mean, it's just a process. Nobody wants to do it. I don't want to do it. He didn't want to do it. My buddy Bill didn't want to do it. Nobody wants to do it. So, and they're in California and they have a ride-in service, but I mean, we're in South Carolina. I mean, it's a process, so it's a thing. So we're trying, he's trying to work around that. He don't want the Corbin. Corbin's got ugly switches. He's looking at me funny, like I'm like overcomplicating things. I, I, I didn't like the way the Corbin felt. It doesn't have anything to do with the switches. At first, it was the switches. Well, Come yeah, on. they were ugly switches. He didn't like the ugly switches. Yeah. So we he immediately ordered a Mustang seat, sent it back. Then what did you have? You uh, ordered like 18. No, I only ordered two. I ordered the Mustang and I ordered the uh, the Saddleman. Okay, well. We didn't like the side We didn't like the side I say we. I say we. Blue. Two blue Fred didn't like it. We didn't like the side If he don't like it, I don't like it. Yeah. So we sent it back. Sent it back. And we've been arguing with ourselves about what's next. We checked out Corbin. We sat on the Corbin. We rode with Corbin. We... The Mustang isn't perfect, but after the break-in period of the Mustang, it was better. So we got the heated version. We're going to try it again. And we may ultimately hate it too, but that's the joy of this. We're, we're, we're trying to find the best motorcycle seat. And the only way you're going to figure out what the best is, is to try them out. I love my Corbin seat. <laughs> I do. Absolutely love it. I love that he I, loves his Corbin seat. <laughs> I'd buy 10 more of them tomorrow if I needed them and if I had the money. They're expensive. <laughs> All right. So, so not only do we have the new battery... We have the heated seat, and we got this cable here to hook up the heated seat so it'll work. That's what we're getting ready to do today. Four and a half minutes into the programming, we're going to finally get started, and uh, so let's do that. All right. What's first? First is we're going to install this here cable, which means we need to uh, install this here cable. There we go. We're going to install this here cable. This is the... This is one of the auxiliary cables, and it's the one specifically for the heated seat. It's got the connector for the heated seat that plugs right into the bike. Uh, this end plugs in and gets power to the seat. So that's what we're going to do right now. I thought it was this side. I thought it was this side. I think you're right. I came to this side because that's what the video said. <laughs> you can't trust any video except our own video. You can only trust two Blue Fred videos. That's right. Two Blue Fred gets it right every time. All right, so now I'm on the wrong side of the bike. Got nowhere, got nowhere to sit down. I mean, how inconvenient. So I'm staring at how I'm going to route this here cable between the battery and everything. Stand up again. So stand up straight. Grandpa. Grandpa. Grandpa pants. <laughs> Batman pants. <laughs> 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 
YouTube doesn't catch birds, so we can flash the bird and not get bleeped out. All right. It's cold, so we're trying to stay warm. We're going to go ride later tonight. All right. God, man. So we're rooting some cables. It's not hard. There's holes between the top of the frame. We got the battery out. Then we're going to make a connection. Somewhere down here, kind of like so. And then it comes right here, and then we're done. And then the heated seat plugs in right there. These seat, these power plugs right here are if you want to hook up some sort of an accessory, which we're also going to do. We're going to hook the heated gear up here. So uh, take advantage of that. Blue is convinced that he left his heated gear on and it killed his battery. I am not of that theory. He is not convinced of that <laughs> mindset. Uh, but he is, so that's the way he wants to hook it up. No problem. And, and it's my bike and I'm doing the work, so. Because we are the chief electrician of Two Blue Fred. <laughs> he is an like electrical, What what is it, an engineer? I have a Bachelor of Science in Electronics Engineering. So does that mean you're an engineer? Yes. That means he wipes his ass with warranties. Uh, well, I'm not a fan. I'm also not a fan of what these Harley makers decided to tell me about my speedometer. That's a freaking story. That's another video. I'm going to share with you guys some information on that. Just a little strap here to put the battery in. To make things a little easier it does make things easier so feel free to use the strap so in other words if you got the money to buy the new lithium-ion battery do it it's a lot more expensive but it don't weigh jack where this one weighs 20 22 pounds. pounds yeah freaking heavy that's okay we're too blue for Ed. we ain't scared on a side note i cut my hair today trim my beard up Gotta look good for YouTube. Gotta look good for Mrs. Two Blue Fred. <laughs> Don't let him kid you. That's what he's trying to do. <laughs> she loves me anyway. I don't know why. Uh, nobody knows why. <laughs> I don't think she knows why. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Miss Two Blue Fred. <laughs> uh, no, it's a joke. We all love blue. Blue is our favorite blue. I am a moody motherfucker, don't know that. Yeah. We all are. We all are. Blue always seems to be in a great mood. I don't know why he's saying that. But always in a good mood. I don't, you know, I'm just not that guy. I wake up and some days I'm cool and some, I, shit, I, mean, I, I, ain't, I ain't putting none of that shit in. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? Yeah. What are we doing here? You ain't talking about, you ain't doing any of that. Here? Seems like we're missing something. I don't think we are. The next step. <laughs> Do we need to break out some instructions? No, oh, man. <laughs> instructions. All right, so sidebar to Blue Fred. If any of you guys ever looked at the Calvin and Hobbes cartoons in the newspaper when you were growing up, I did. I like Calvin and Hobbes. They're funny people. And there's one Calvin and Hobbes com uh, uh, comic strip and I forget which was which. Was Calvin the boy or the cat or a tiger? Anyway, so Calvin, the little boy, was looking or building something, some Legos or something. And Hobbs is sitting over there looking at the instructions. And he looks over at Calvin and he says, don't you think you ought to look at the instructions? And Calvin was like, what do you think I am, some sort of sissy? Our opinion on instructions. Guys, don't look at instructions. That's all he had to say. Hey, let me tell my story. You tell your stories in three words. I'm going to tell my stories in 300 words. All right, so we got the, the battery in place. We went ahead and hooked up the negative lead, right? Uh, we still got the 50 amp fuse out. So I told him the other day, everything goes always on hook first. up positive first. All right, we're undoing this, and we're going to redo this section of the video. Did you hook up all the leads? 
All right, so we've still got the 50 amp fuse out of the bike. We're getting ready to hook up the battery. We're gonna hook up the positive side first because Blue has instructed us on several occasions, always hook up the positive side first. I'm an electrical engineer. You'd think I'd remember stuff like that, but dyslexia is a, is a thing, it's real. Don't get it twisted, dyslexia is real. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get this done. And for some dadgum reason, Harley, in their infinite wisdom, decided to put a 10 millimeter bolt on the battery. Yes, you can use a Phillips screwdriver and it'll get it done. But every other bolt I've found on this here bike is a standard bolt and this bolt is a 10 millimeter bolt. I don't understand. I don't understand. Blue's like, use a screwdriver. There's plenty of the 10 millimeters on here. There's also a 13 millimeter somewhere. Okay. So now we have a scavenger hunt challenge that Blue has just laid down to find that 13 millimeter bolt. He's just putting the battery back together. You don't need to see that. It's two screws. Making progress. Stupid black plastic cover for the battery. That protects your connection so it don't short out. So while he's doing that, interesting side note. So the, the brand new 2020 Road Glide Limited, has, the speedometer's off. We know that because we run external GPS with the Garmin. We run an app on the phone. Ulysses. And my Speedo on my 2017. And so we talked to Harley, the local Harley dealer, and they're like, uh, you know, hey, or we are like, hey, the Speedo's off by, you know, five miles an hour or better, depending on how fast you're going. So we're over there the other night, and we mentioned it, and he's like, oh, that's odd, you know. Well, first he says that's like normal. And I'm like, hell, mine's straight. Mine's straight, dead on. So he's like, you know, mine's off, and what are you going to do about it? It's brand new under warranty for like seven years. So they're like, well, let's talk to the tech, blah, 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 blah. Finally, they get back to us. They Harley's response, Mother Harley's response is, if it's in within five miles an hour of 50 miles an hour, it's acceptable. Blue's response is my response is y'all left the bike the same from model years. These 2020s, the rear wheel is an inch bigger. The front wheel is an inch bigger. So truly you need to know the circumference of the tire or diameter times pi to find on a brand new tire, old and new to find out if that's what they did or not. And whether it is or not, I don't know that we'll ever know. But I'm going to try to keep in mind that when he gets tires and when I get tires, that we measure the circumference of each, then we can narrow it down. So, to be continued. So, we've got all the miscellaneous connectors, everything hooked back up, back in place the way it's supposed to be. Um, and we're just uh, getting everything in place. And uh, right here, on top of the bike is uh, the little uh, the wa the the connector, the custom dynamics flasher connector goes right there. We've got our little Germing connector for our heated seat. We've got the cable that we've got to hook up still for the heated seat to get that working. And then right here is the connector that the heated seat right here. Sorry, right here is the connector that the heated seat plugs into when we stick it on the bike. God willing, the sun don't ride, or the, the, the stars don't fall out of alignment, all this wire is gonna fit up underneath that seat. All right, none of that is really the meat of this video. The meat of the video is still to come. 
which is the heated seat, and how to wire up the heated seat. Okay. It's plug in this connector. <laughs> okay, so part of what you've already seen is hooking up the accessory wire that just plugs in on the on this model the right side of the bike and you just fish it up over the battery and you leave that plug exposed so you can then put the seat on so are we, are we really that close to having the heated seat working you can put the seat on plug in this connector and it should work well, I'll be there. okay so i've just been over here drinking and talking to y'all so blue's having a good time and there ain't nothing wrong with blue having a good time i'm gonna actually try to start the bike at this point so he's he's like phobic about this bike starting now i mean a bad cell in a battery just happens i mean you know it, it happens uh, should it happen on a five month old battery no but it did so you know accept it and move on doesn't mean all batteries are bad We just want to make sure that we didn't screw anything else up. We're going to smoke about it. Yeah, we're going to smoke about it. It's a good sign. It's a very good sign. Lights came on. neighborhood I ain't straight out of Compton I'm straight out the trailer <laughs> blue and I've been talking about space restrictions not having enough space to work greeny is wonderful we like her for storage of the bike but uh, more space is required. Sorry, I'm not sure. Alexa, shut the crap up. How many of y'all got Alexa in your garage? Leave us a comment. <laughs> <laughs> While you're at it. Hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell. What are we doing, Blue? We are reconnecting the grounding cable and the bolts for the CB and to hold the little plastic cover up over the battery. Here comes the real dance, folks. You ever played Tetris as a child? It's a little bit like that. Problem is, we've added a new connector that we didn't have to deal with before. So I'm trying to make sure I got room for all this stuff. Beer. I don't know. Eight. I think I don't keep counting. It's at least six. It's at least six. It's probably eight. <laughs> All six, I wouldn't even feel it. <sighs> That's what a seasoned drinker says. Isn't that uh, isn't that Modelo a little stronger then? Yeah. How many of those do you have? Oh, two or three. <laughs> <laughs> What's the skinny green? We're getting ready to slide the seat on. Make sure everything fits. We're gonna have to take the seat off in a minute. To, to finish hooking up the heated gear, but we'll deal with that later. 
it's not something we're going to fiddle with now we want to make sure that the seat gets on and that the bike is ready to ride for this evening because we've got grand plans and downtown columbia is going to hear about it yeah they are i'm gonna have everybody walking in five points no not five points i'm gonna have everybody walking into vista singing sweet caroline <laughs> hell yeah oh i need to make sure i got that <laughs> We're going to be bumping Sweet Caroline. This is the first time I've heard that plan. Shoot, yeah. I have, I have good plans when I've been drinking. Because Neil Diamond. Oh, yeah. Sweet Caroline. Ba, ba, ba. Good times never seem so good. So good. So good. I feel inclined. I forget what part it is here. Bah, bah, bah. <laughs> to believe it never was. All right. So heated seat connector. Heated seat connector to the bike. And that's it. That's how that goes. And now. Hold up, dude. He's missed a step. What did I miss? Did you run a positive from that cable up to the battery? Not doing it yet. How's he expect that to work? I expect it to just draw when the when the bike is on, not when it's not on. If it ain't, we're gonna be pulling it apart sooner rather than later. <laughs> we're gonna figure this out. The instructions specifically said. What am I, a sissy? I don't read instructions. When it don't work, then we figure out what the problem is. <laughs> when it don't work, we're gonna know what the problem is. We didn't hook up the right wire. I'm mainly just trying to make sure that the seat fits on the bike. There was a question. If it'll fit. Well, with all those cables underneath. Yeah, there is a little question. Let's turn it on before we bolt that bitch down. Yes. All right. First sit. Look at my cute them jeans. Look at my cute them jeans. Why don't you come on over here and bleep me up the butt? Anybody know whose stand up that was? Please leave us a comment down in the thread. You must be 45 years or older. Yeah, just about. So it's it's further back, which is one of the things we wanted. Let's do the maiden voyage of the heat. So over here on this side of the bike are the switches, right? And right now, Right now, here are the switches, and according to the documentation and the website, they will light up, and they're not lit up now. So blue is going to turn the bike into the accessory position for us. And now when we turn them on, we got lights, low and high. And if we turn the bike back off, blue. They go off. That means that it's only pulling battery when the light is on. So that's a good sign. That's exactly what we wanted. And that, my friend, is the installation of a heated seat on the 2020 Zephyr Blue Road Glide. We've got to still put the bags back on. We've got to put the, the cover plates back on, but that's easy stuff. Uh, we appreciate you guys watching. As always, as Blue said, Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, give us a thumbs up, make sure you're notified of new content. We appreciate you watching. And as always, freaking ride every day with a heated seat. Not so fast. We need to turn that seat on and see if it's gonna warm up or if we gotta install that new cable. The lights came on.
mic is running, the heated seat is on, we're going to let it run for a few minutes and we're going to come in and check it out. We're going to step outside and get away from the pubes. getting warm. It ain't burning me yet, but it's getting warm. I don't think it's ever going to be the hand grips. Sitting here, I like it. My nuts are warm. Well, there you go, folks. That's it. Fun with two blue friends. Ride every day, drink every day. See you down the road.